Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Get Good at Open RST2. In this video, I will show you how to quickly make a custom swinging ship. Now, um, you all know the um, normal swinging ship looks like this, and uh, yeah, this this ride will uh, will uh, look nice in your park. But uh, I always like to have my custom swinging ships look a little bit more impressive, a little bit bigger, a bit higher capacity. So that's why I always uh, like to make my own custom swinging ships. Now uh, it's actually quite easy to make one yourself. Um, you will need the uh, the right vehicle editor plugin uh, for this. Uh, you can find it on openrst2plugins.org. Uh, yeah, um, let's uh, let's uh, start off uh, with making one of these. Uh, I like to use the Twister roller coaster for this. So uh, yeah, for this ride you will need about uh, um, a three by seven area. Um, yeah, that that's probably um, um, enough for this ride. So I like to build my station a little bit off the ground. Uh, one unit should be enough. And what we then do is uh, we go up like this. Here we go vertical, and here you can have a quarter loop. And on the uh, back end of the station you do the same and also here we make a quarter loop we don't actually have to connect these ends uh, together and then uh, on one side you can make the entrance on the other side you can make the exit and then we go to the cheat menu um, we need to cheat for show vehicles from other track types Let's start with that. Um, we'll want to see all operating modes. And we'll want to disable vehicle limits. And we'll want to allow arbitrary ride depth changes. So yeah, we need quite a lot of cheats, but uh, it will be worth it. Okay, um, I like to, for this, uh, um, for custom ships, swinging ships like this, I like to use the six-seater twisted trains, which are the trains that are used for the vertical drop roller coaster. Now, I typically go for one train with seven vehicles, but you can change that depending on how many you want. Five will probably also uh, work fine. I will set it to powered launch, uh, passing station, and yeah, we can do probably like seven circuits or more. That's really up to you, and probably wouldn't go much faster than uh, 38 kilometers per hour, maybe. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, um, set it to test uh, the ride, and immediately close it again. This is easier if you have the um, traffic lights enabled than if you have the flags enabled. Uh, you can also do it when paused, just... Uh, put the ride in test mode and then immediately close it and then the vehicle just should stay in place as you can see the train now stays in place over here uh, I will now just make the station invisible or the entrance and exit invisible just to make a little bit more clear what we are doing here okay so now we have a train here um, and when it starts, it will just launch. It will go back and forth uh, yeah, seven times. Um, I could just show what it does now. So it now looks uh, like this. Um, the back side of the train uh, will actually... Um, yeah, it will equalize o over time, but when the train stops... Uh, the front of it will be stop here at the front of the station. That's, so that's probably not uh, what uh, what you want. So that's why we're going to use the right vehicle editor. Uh, with that, we're going to uh, uh, change the order of the trains. So uh, yeah, we will keep the front uh, vehicle of the train in place. So the front vehicle will always stop uh, at this part. But we will move some of the back trains in front. And by doing that, the train will actually stop with, uh, uh, yeah, it will always uh, put the front train at the front vehicle at the front of the station when it stops. So if you move some of the back vehicles in front, it will still uh, 
move in this it will still stop in the same spot but with these vehicles in front so um, I go to the um, the right vehicle editor and I'm going to move these last three vehicles to the front so here we have twister or goes to one so we go to vehicle five and I'm going to move it right in front I will set the step uh, height a bit or the step size a bit bigger right vehicle five is now uh, in front of uh, vehicle one and I'm going to do the same for vehicle six and vehicle seven all right that looks good to me now I'm going to test the ride and in the end we should see it uh, stop um, in the middle I'm just going to close the ride so that when it stops uh, it won't continue moving and then we can see uh, where it actually stops all right there we go now the train has stopped here uh, in the in the middle like this now I'm just going to quickly disable the rain now um I think the launch speed is still a little bit too fast so I'm going to lower it a bit if you want it to be even lower we can use unlock operating limits okay um one thing I often do just to make it a little bit more uh, ship shaped is that I go into the right vehicle editor again and the front vehicle uh, I like to change that into a uh, where is it floorless twisted train just so it's a little bit less wide and I can do it, you can do the same for the um, last vehicle of the ride right that's just my uh, preference Okay, if we test the ride now, um, I set the launch speed a bit lower, but uh, yeah, I think this uh, will actually look quite right for a swinging ship. You can also make the vertical part a bit longer if you want, but uh, that's really up to uh, personal preference. Anyway, um, now I'm going to show uh, how I like to uh, decorate uh, these rides. I typically uh, do show the station for, the, uh, for this ride. I mean, I typically do show the entrance and exit hut for this uh, for this ride. The station will be invisible later. Anyway, um, I like to decorate these rides. Um, what I usually do is put a piece of uh, dinghy slide over here. I try to put it here in the middle. You can make it uh, brown, probably. But you can choose any color you wish. Um, I vary these uh, materials uh, usually. But I like to put some of these uh, corrugated uh, steel bases and one of these corrugated steel roofs. I'll just do an extra one. But you can use whatever material you like here. And then uh, we also need to support this. I typically go for um, inverted impulse goes the track, but you can use any track that goes uh, steep here. So I typically just build this track like this, and then I move it down to get it at the height where I like it. I think this uh, looks all right. Let's disable clearance checks. All right. And then I just copy this track piece to the other spots where I want it. It's going to rotate this one. Okay, with this done, um, we can make this part of the track invisible now. So a real swinging ship typically doesn't have a, a visible track. Uh, I like to change it into a lift that does several things. First of all, it makes the track invisible. A second, it also changes the ride into a transport ride. And as long as a transport ride is free, uh, guests will uh, ride it regardless of its stats. So I think that's always a good thing uh, to do. What I like to do usually is to make it look uh, even more like a boat. 
Well, first of all, we could make this vehicle brown. Typically for my parks, I vary the colors a bit, but that's uh, that's really up to you. Um, yeah, I like to make it look a little bit more like a boat. So for that, I typically go with some uh, uh, wooden coaster track. Now I will build it uh, um, next to here, just so I can copy and paste the track pieces that I want. So I'll have a piece that's banked to the left on this side. Here I'll make a piece that's banked on the right. For now I'll just give it some uh, bright colors, just so it's easier to see what I'm doing. I'll also temporarily hide this uh, station. So with the town inspector I'm going to uh, copy this track piece and I'm going to paste it on the spot where the entrance or the exit is. And this piece that's banked in the other direction, I'll place it here. And yeah, I'm just going to make one of these uh, banked uh, diagonal turns here. And I typically put another layer on top. So I'm going to select this uh, track piece here, copy and paste it. And then I put another track piece here on top. Um, and I have to ch turn on this cheat here, allow build track at invalid heights. That make it, makes it a lot easier. Right. And I do the same here. Now I actually have hotkeys for copying and pasting pieces, so there's for me there's the Control C and Control V. You can also use these buttons here. So now I have this track piece here selected, I copy and paste it, and then I just move it up here, and then I put another um, track piece here. Okay, I'll make this original entrance and exit uh, visible again. Now, I like to use the log cabin uh, uh, entrance and exit here, but you can use whatever fits uh, uh, the style you're going for. Probably a good idea to place a few uh, blocks under here, or else there will be a gap below. If you put uh, pieces here, they'll probably glitch a little bit, so yeah, m maybe you don't want uh, to do this. Now let's recolor this uh, wooden track. And then you can make an uh, entrance and an uh, exit here. Now we could make this uh, wooden track uh, a little bit taller if you want. I think this looks even better, but uh, I would make these track pieces here um, invisible again, so they don't clip with the entrance and exit hut. If you uh, keep the entrance and exit hut here uh, visible, of course. But yeah, um, this is just a quick tutorial on how I like to make uh, swing custom swinging ships for this game. Uh, I think they uh, look a bit more impressive than this uh, tiny one over here. But of course uh, this one uh, will work just as well. And of course this is not all the decoration you can uh, uh, use for these rides. Uh, there's lots of things you can do to make them look more impressive. For example you could add water under here or river rapids uh, track pieces. So it looks like there wi there's white water on the track. You could make fountains next to it. or uh, Put like a maiden uh, st statue in front, something like that. Uh, yeah, there's just a lot of things you can do to make this uh, look even nicer. But yeah, I just like really like making these rides. They're easy to do. So you'll find these in a lot of my uh, parks. Anyway, um, yeah, that was this quick tutorial on making a swinging ship. If this tutorial is useful for you, uh, please consider giving it a like. It would really help out my channel. And I would also really like to uh, hear in the comments uh, what you think of this uh, of this ride. All right. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you again in the next video. See you later.